a wholesaler bought walnuts and peanuts the price of walnut per kg being thrice that of peanut per kg so let me just take price of peanut as p then price of walnut will be 3p per kg he then sold 8 kgs of peanuts at a profit of 10 percentage and 16 kg of walnuts at a profit of 20 percentage to a shopkeeper so whatever is the selling price for wholesaler will be the cost price for shopkeeper and he has sold walnuts at a profit of 20 percentage and he has sold 16 kgs of walnuts he has sold 8 kgs of peanuts at a profit of 10 percentage so if we want to just find out cost price for shopkeeper which is also the selling price for wholesaler if we write cost price for shopkeeper so if we write for walnut that will be 3p plus 20 percent of 3p or we can directly write 1.2 times of 3p so this is for 1 kg for 16 kgs it will be into 16 similarly if we write for peanuts it will be p plus 10 percentage of p or 1.1 p that is for 1 kg and if we take for 8 kgs that will be into 8 so this is the cost price of walnut and peanuts for shopkeeper however the shopkeeper lost 5 kgs of walnuts so he bought 16 kgs of walnuts but now he has lost 5 kgs of walnuts so remaining walnuts with him is 16 minus 5 that is 11 kgs and he has also lost 3 kgs of peanuts in transit so remaining peanuts will be 8 minus 3 that is 5 kgs with him he then mixed the remaining nuts so remaining nuts that he has is 11 plus 5 that is 16 kgs so he mixed these two and sold the mixture at 166 per kg so if i want to find out total sp for shopkeeper that will be 166 into 16 because this is per kg and he has 16 kgs of the mixture and he made an overall profit of 25 percent so this gave him a profit of 25 percent over cp so this sp is cost price plus 25 percent of the cost price that he incurred or we can directly write 1.25 of cost price now instead of cost price i can just take his total cost price from here so we know how much he incurred for walnut and peanut we can add that and replace cp with that value so let me just do that quickly here 16 now if we see 8 we can take common and then cancel out so 8 8 8 from here 8 from here and then this 16 so this will become 166 into 2 this we can cancel out by 25 so 25 into 5 times and 25 into 4 times so this is 5 by 4 from this we have taken 8 out and cancel so this will only be 7.2p plus 1.1p let me just take it above from here so i've just taken this equation here this 5 by 4 i've taken on the other side then this gives us this decimal i'm taking and putting a zero here so p turns out to be 32 we have to find out at what price in rupees per kg did the wholesaler buy the walnuts so wholesaler has bought walnuts at the price of rupees 3p per kg so p is 32 so 3p is 32 into 3 that is rupees 96 per kg so answer for this question is 96